In this episode of Pros vs. Ams, we're going to take a look at a typical left shoulder movement pattern of a professional golfer and compare that to what we typically see with amateur golfers. So as we play these swings through to you, you're going to see a couple key differences. And the, the, the way we're doing the trace is we're tracing this gears bones feature with the green arrow representing the backswing to the top, and then it's gonna to change to a light blue arrow representing the downswing to impact, and then post impact, it's gonna be a pink arrow. And you're gonna see quite a bit, in fact, the opposite movement pattern um, with these two golfers. And these are very typical on what we see quite often with both our pro clients and our amateur clients. So let's kind of stop the swings right here and rewind them and take a little deeper dive into what kind of causing things and, and what some of the difference are and how we can, you know, use this information to, to make a better golf swing. So we're going to add a couple boxes here to kind of give us a little clear understanding of what's happening. One right above or right the professional golfer's head, right at the top of the, of this head box. And then the amateur golfer's head just underneath it. And then a little bit wider box here, um, encompassing both players hip sockets and the bottom of their spine and we're going to play this through and get it started here and we're going to see some differences right off the bat so relative to the head box we can see that now they have completely changed positions now the pros at the bottom the ams at the top and we can start to see some significant differences with how they're operating their hips which is going to coincide with how they operate their left shoulder we can see the the golfer, the professional golfer has got his left hip quite a bit lower than the amateur golfer, which implies that he has more knee flex at this point, which again is something we see quite often with the pros. And conversely, um, our amateur golfer is turning much flatter. Now, as we take him back towards the top, we're gonna see a really stark difference here. And this is really the whole point of this video. When this arrow turns the corner on each golfer, the amateur's arrow turns upward, the pro's arrow turns downward. That is a significant difference and it's something that's really the crux of what we hope you guys take away from this is that our professional golfer is really drifting himself forward and downward into that left leg. That allows him to generate a tremendous vertical force that he can use later in the golf swing. Our amateur golfer is now kind of coasting to the side and up a little bit and again, we can see a stark difference in the pelvis movements here as well. And what this really sets in motion is how they lower their arms in the downswing. So we can see our amateur golfer is really kind of bought into the idea of connection. And he really has this kind of overly intact shoulders to arms kind of relationship. And we can see him ride that all the way down throughout the downswing, really keeping that kind of same structure left arm to upper left arm pinned across the chest all of those things the only way you can get the club down doing that is to pop that left shoulder up which is what we see him doing now comparing that to what our professional golfer does he has a much more independent arm lowering motion and we can really see that by way of this left shoulder trace watch how his left arm really comes out from underneath the bill of his cap much sooner than we see the the amateur golfer and again our pro is starting from a much higher arm position he is really dropping those arms independently of his shoulder move because our amateur is using the left shoulder to drop the arms our pro is dropping the arms as he lowers that left shoulder that's a significant difference and really a point we want to drive home because it allows you to do a couple really cool things with the club path our amateur here suffers from big hooks and the resulting blocks that come from those. And we can see that kind of right here at this delivery point, let me point out something else too. Right here is where the, the amateur uh, levels out his hips. And we can see how high the hands are relative to that level hip line. And we can see our pro am levels out right here where his hands are opposite his hips. We see this all the time. Uh, as a distinguishing factor between the two categories of golfers. This allows the pro to maintain way 
better angles coming into the ball. And we can really see now where that connection idea of keeping that upper left arm across the chest, pinned to the chest, the stark difference as it is here. We can see much more of the professional's chest. His arms have slid down his chest much farther. And we've got much more separation between his left shoulder and his ear, say, versus the amateur between his left shoulder and his ear. And we can see how they ride that through impact. The, the professional golfer is getting that upper left arm across and off his chest. Again, something we see all the time with pros. The AMs uh, love that connection feeling, and they're kind of riding that out. And then we can really see coming through the shot how that really manifests itself and that amateur's left arm is holding on for dear life. That left shoulder really blocked his, his ability to rotate and he's holding on and his left shoulder is way above his head in this example. And you can see a stark difference here. Lower body wise, we're very similar now, but man, that upper body, because of that blocking left shoulder coming down, really creates difficulty for this golfer and it's something that we see on a daily basis. So the takeaway here is create some dynamic movement, change the levels, allow that hip, left hip to lower. That's gonna allow you to get this left shoulder down. It's gonna allow you to drop those arms. It's gonna allow you to get all this dynamic movement going on and create some really cool things in your golf swing. Don't bite into this idea that the arms, chest, all of those things should stay connected or overly connected throughout the golf swings. It's really gonna kind of put a monkey in the in the works here as far as how you operate those shoulders in your downswing. <laughs>